it has come to my attention somehow that not everybody knows or is familiar with the native script marketplace do you know what the native script marketplace is it's a few different things actually and today we're going to take a look at those few different things that's coming up in this video All right, folks, so what is the NativeScript Marketplace? Well, if you go to market.nativescript.org, you will see three different sections there, three tabs. Let's go through them one at a time now. The first one is plugins, and you can see the recent plugins up here. So the recently added and the recently updated. Now these plugins, you can either submit right here by using the submit link at the very top, so if you created your own plugin, you can submit it here. But also these plugins are automatically picked up from NPM. So if we go to npmjs.com and you search for native script, you'll see a bunch of different native script things here. And anything that starts with the word native script, like for example, here's native script web sockets. Anything that starts with that is going to automatically be picked up by the bot that crawls NPM for native script plugins and add it here. And also the date, when this was published last, that's going to affect the sorting algorithm here for how these are displayed and whether they are recent or recently updated or recently added. And you can see all the different plugins here. You'll see 1,342 plugins at this time. You'll also see the verified plugins. So next to the little icon, you'll see verified. That means these plugins were submitted and checked by the team to make sure that they have a few different things that they meet, a few different standards they meet. So they need sample applications, they need to work, they need to have a Travis automatic CI CD process that builds the plugin and tests the plugin with the demo applications. It needs to run on iOS and Android. These are all prerequisites for being verified. And then there's one more step of becoming verified. So you can see all the verified plugins listed towards the top. And then later they get into the unverified plugins. That doesn't mean they're bad. That just means that they haven't been checked because the team is busy. They are not checking all the plugins. If you want to search for plugins, you can do that here. So for example, let's say you want to look for OAuth. There is my plugin right there. Not to plug my own plugin, ah, pun intended. It's verified too. This is the OAuth plugin. If you do want to learn more about this, I got a full native script security course on nativescripting.com where in one of the chapters we go into OAuth and I show you how to use this plugin with Microsoft Azure Active Directory. All right, so that's plugins. Let's go to tab number two, which is templates. So if we look at templates, you can search the templates just like you could with plugins. These are just basically templates that when you create a new native script application, you can issue the template command to generate one of these from scratch. I highly recommend using one of these templates if you're just starting out with a brand new application. And even if you're not, try these templates out generate an app with these templates and see how these templates are set up. Some of these use really good architectural techniques that are going to be very helpful to you. For example, I really like this drawer navigation one right here. And if you click on one of these, you'll see how to create the application with the template. So it'll give you the command itself that you need to issue on the command line in order to create that. And you can pick view, you can pick TypeScript or JavaScript or Angular all these different variations of that same template, which is the side drawer navigation template. Then you got some information about the template, the walkthrough of the architecture, the styling, and so on. You even have a link to the GitHub repo where that template lives. You can see the pull requests, the issues and whatnot with that template. And you can see how active the work on that template is. All right, let's go back here. Some of the fun templates that are available here, obviously not the blank one. The blank one is not fun at all, but it's nice to have because if you want to start with a blank slate with nothing in there, you can use the blank template. Just expect that you will have to build everything yourself. Now with some other ones here, for example, the tab navigation is pretty cool. It gives you an idea of how the tab navigation works. Then you have some master detail examples here. One is with Convey, which is Progress Software's backend. And another one is with Firebase. 
These are fully functional templates with master details that utilize an instance of a Firebase account, which has to be your account. So you're gonna have to go and set up Firebase and register for an account, which is free anyway. And if you use this template with it, it'll just go ahead and populate your database with that. So it's really cool to see how this interacts with Firebase. I've been asked many times, how do you work with Firebase and NativeScript? If you just use this template, if you just generate a new app with this template, it'll create a master details app for you using Firebase, and then you'll see. Of course, that doesn't excuse me from not creating a video for you guys, which I should do, but this at least will give you a start and it'll show you where to look. All right, tab number two is done. Let's go to tab number three, which is samples. You have samples here that have been created by the NativeScript team. You have samples that have been created, crafted, I should say, by other community members that are really, really intricate and cool. You can search for samples, but I find it doesn't really help searching because the samples are so different and so varied. You don't really know what to search for. But if you're looking for a specific framework, you have the option to filter by framework. So all is here, then you can filter by Angular. So this will give you all the samples that you can download that use Angular. Of course, you have Vue. In the case of Vue, here's a building a good looking login form by Igor Rangelovic. By the way, Igor Rangelovic is the guy that created NativeScript Vue. So this is gonna be a pretty good template. You can guarantee that. If you haven't seen my chat with Igor, you can go back to the channel and take a look at some of the videos on there. One of my chats is with Igor himself, so you can see what he has to say. Other than that, there's some really interesting samples here. And the samples are set up so that you can just check them out here. They have the little animated GIFs here, playing the examples from the screenshots of the apps themselves. And not only that, but you can also view them in the playground. So you can click on the playground demo link here and you can run it right there on your device from the playground, which also, by the way, happens to have a download button. So once you click on the playground link, you can download the entire source code and run it locally. So the samples aren't there just to look pretty. You can actually get the code and see how it's built. Really cool stuff. Of course, you have Core and then you have React. You also have samples organized by layouts and pages, forms and data, interactions, animations. So right now there is nothing with animations and React selected. So if I go back to all, then you'll see that we have a lot of different animated samples here that uh, use different frameworks than React. These could be Angular, Vue, Core. And then finally, we have media samples here to show you how you can build music player UI or add a video to your app and so on. So if you haven't checked out the NativeScript Marketplace, it's pretty cool. Go check it out now. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Later.